it's undeniable that in a world of virtual events, the platform you choose matters. And in this session, I want to help you make the right platform decision. Hello, I'm William Thompson, founder of the Virtual Event Campus and organiser of over 700 hybrid, virtual and physical events. And I know you have one question for me. What is the best platform for a virtual event? I know that because it's the question that I've been asked most often across these last crazy 12 months. And I have the answer for you right at the start of my presentation. And here it is. It depends. Sorry to tease you, but I wish the answer was different. But there it is. It really does depend on so many things. So what I really want to do is to help you, and I'm sure you would have asked a better question anyway. What is the best platform for my event? And to get there, I'm going to take you through the same journey that I have taken more than 20 organisations over the last year to help them make the best decision on the platform for them. Because that decision matters and it will matter for you. So in the time I have with you today, I want to help you do these three things. The first and most important thing is to help you choose the best platform for your event. To do that, I want to help you understand a bit more about the options that you have when you look for that all-important platform. The second is to help you spend less time sitting in front of the screen trying to find that platform. And finally, I want to help your events stand out from the crowd. Now, the first thing I want to do is for you not to think about the platform. I know, right? Find the right platform by not even thinking about the platform. So let me explain. You have to take some time to properly design your event for a virtual audience. You have to outline the things that you want to do within your event. You have to have an idea or structure, and it can be a bit hazy at this stage, well before you choose your platform. All too often, the worst mistake a planner can make is made at the start, choosing the platform and then designing the event to match the platform. Now, I know we're doing this with platforms because many planners did something similar with their physical events. All too often, we had a venue and then we had to design an event that fitted the space, environment and atmosphere of the venue. And that same thing is happening online. So design the event and then go looking for the platform. Now, for the naysayers out there, you're probably saying, hold on a minute, but I won't find a platform for the event I want to deliver. So I assure you, with so many platforms out there, you will be able to find the platform support you need to deliver the event you want. Now, of course, you may have to make a compromise or two, but think back to the physical world. You rarely found the absolute perfect venue. There are always compromises to make between the design and the implementation stage. So be confident, design the event you want, and then start your search. Once you have a rough, hazy idea of the event, you will have honed in on the fundamental areas to cover within your event. And here, I'd like to introduce you to the three fundamental pillars of a virtual event. Every virtual event will cover one or more of these three fundamental pillars, and they are exceptionally useful for helping you to find the right platform. I look at every virtual event, no matter how complicated it appears, and break it down into the content pillar, the connections pillar, and the coverage for your commercial partners pillar. So before you start your platform search, I suggest you make it clear which of these three pillars you're going to cover within your event. As you've designed it already, this should be a simple step. So here are a few scenarios to help you see this in action. If you have a simple 90 minute webinar style, free to attend, lead generation style virtual event, then you're probably only looking at a platform that needs to cover the content pillar. There's no need to find complicated and expensive platforms if you only need to deliver content and have some interaction. So hopefully you can cut your search down by 90% by designing your event first and simply focusing in on this content pillar. So you are after a webinar plus style platform like Big Marker or Crowdcast. Scenario two, if you have an event that's all about peer-to-peer -peer exchange, one of the three ways we connect online, then you're looking at a very different platform from one that concentrates on content. Again, the number of potential platforms that will be right for you is drastically reduced. You want to encourage people to meet and chat, so you're looking at something like Gatherly or Remo. Scenario three, you need a platform that is brilliant for coverage for your commercial partners. So you need copious amounts of branding and great interactive virtual booths. You're then looking at a whole different list of platforms. You're heading towards a Six Connects or, or a VFairs. Now, you may be surprised by how much of an impact a simple design first approach based on these three fundamental pillars can save you in hours of unnecessary product demos. Just this year, I've spent more than a full day watching demos and I'm never going to get that day back. 
Once you have an idea of which of the three pillars your event is going to cover, you will have a much clearer idea of what type of virtual event you're going to run. Now this might surprise you, but there are only six different types of business events that organisations tend to run online. Now I know you'll have seen scores of what look like different events online, but really there are only six different types of events. So having a clear idea of what type of event you're running is really going to help you find the types of platforms that can best support your event. And with a type of event and an understanding of the pillars you want to cover, you're in a very good position to start to look for your platform. You have to design your event for digital. Don't try to replicate a physical event. Instead, think about what will work for your digital audience. Do that and then start looking for a platform. So how do you use this new information that you have? Well, be clear and upfront with the platform provider who is after your business and avoid doing any demos if it's clearly not the right type of platform for your event. Get in there straight away and say, for example, my event is only about content. It's a webinar plus style event, so I need a platform that concentrates solely on this type of event. I don't need to know about the other areas. So the first question, does your platform work for my event? Start on the front foot by knowing your event and don't be knocked off course. This will help you no end in cutting to the chase. Now, if only there was one question that you needed your potential platform to answer, there are obviously a few more. Well, in fact, I came up with a hundred questions and you can download a super useful spreadsheet of those questions by visiting the Virtual Event Campus homepage. Now, we all know the platform is going to be important for the success of your event. So we have to make sure we ask all the right questions. We also have to see the platform choice in the wider context of digital transformation. Placing your event on a virtual event platform is perhaps the biggest example of the digital transformation that has affected the events industry in the last year. Now, when I help organisers to run better virtual events, I use a digital transformation model. That model places the platform or platforms at step four in a seven step digital transformation process. We choose the platform after we do a few other things. If we want to really transform parts of our business into a digital business, then we have to follow a process and not get too carried away with that latest bit of technology. Now feel free to get in touch with me and I'll share the digital transformation model that we use. Now I hope I have made my main point crystal clear. We have to prepare the groundwork before we choose the technology. So what next in my grand plan to help you spend less time finding the right platform? Well, that is to look at the hundreds of platforms and break them down into three categories. And this should provide you with some rough benchmarking. And I'm sure this will really help you laser focus in on the right platform. So in this scenario, I'm looking for a platform that covers all three pillars for 500 to 10 days across two days. Now we have these three rough types of platforms. The first is the self-service affordable platforms. Second, the hand-holding and mid-range price platforms. And third, the full service pricey platforms. As you survey the vast array of options, you can start to drop platforms into these three buckets. And I find this super useful when trying to hone in on a platform for a client. In the first bucket, you have platforms that are simple to use for your attendees, stakeholders, and very importantly, for you as a planner. They tend to do all the things you need covering the three pillars and would set you back between $1,000 and $4,000 for this 500 person two day event. So let's name drop a few platforms that I like in this category. Remo, Run the World, Hopin, Balloon, and Airme. In the next bucket, we have platforms that tend to do a little bit more than the more basic platforms and offer some more tailoring and customization. For a 500 person two day event, they probably land closer to $10,000. With this additional fee comes some more personalized support on top of the ability to add a bit more functionality to the event. So think about SpotMe, Hobilo, Swapcard, Delegate Select and Feedloop. And in the final bucket, we have the full service white label models. These platforms can start at around the 10,000 figure and quickly shoot up to close to six figures. These tend to be able to say yes to any of your requirements, but for a price. You're looking at meeting play, Cvent and Six Connects. For most of my clients, we very quickly start to identify which bucket to concentrate on and sure the budget plays a big part. Getting to know where to place that brilliant platform that you hear people talking about is a great way to drop your search down by around two thirds. Maybe it is brilliant, but if it's not in the bucket that you're looking in, there's no point finding out more about it. 
There's no point looking at what you can't justify paying. And for many organisers, what is an offer in the first bucket works perfectly well for their event. For others, of course, that extra functionality makes all of the difference. Now that was a quick overview of the process, and the process never changes. But let's talk about some of the more exciting things around platforms. What can you do with a platform that will make your event really stand out? So I have one major thing for you to consider and three bonus ideas, one for each of those three fundamental pillars. First up, the big thing. Stop looking for that one stop, does everything platform and consider using more than one platform for your event. First up, the big thing. Stop looking for that one stop, does everything platform and consider using more than one platform for your event. Now I know this can seem like a crazy idea, but it works. You have a main platform for your event, but you take attendees off for a while before bringing them back on. So if you have an event that lasts a few days, definitely consider this as an option. I had one client who mixed it up. Jumping off to another platform was rated the best thing about the entire event. And on top of that, they were able to offer exclusive branding to a sponsor and they made a lot of money from it. If you take this approach, it can also save you a small fortune. There's clearly a premium being paid to have everything on one platform. But maybe you don't need that all singing, super expensive platform. Instead, have a basic platform, but jump off once or twice to another platform and find all the functionality for a fraction of the price. Mix it up. I want to highlight ideas that will really make a difference to your event. The first is the inbuilt production studio. What does the platform do to help your content sparkle on screen? What inbuilt software do they have that helps you display content? Can you choose the layout of people on screen or the things that they share? Are you able to put on overlays or add logos? How easy is it to play pre-recorded content? What about displaying a nice backdrop behind your speakers? The platforms that are thinking about helping you display the content are the ones that I am super excited about. There's a bonus with this. You pay less on your production costs, so you have more profit. And that is super important in this world of virtual events. Some platforms show you how many people are in a breakout room before you enter that room, which is cool. But others show you who is in that room, and that is much better. Just think about it. How important are the people in the room that you spend time with? Well, I would say they're at least, if not more important than the subject being discussed. So search out the platforms that allow your attendees to see who's in a room before they enter. We all know that it's exceptionally hard to get value from a virtual expo hall. If you thought physical exhibitions were hard, virtual can be nearly impossible. So what are platforms doing to help you earn revenue from your commercial partners above and beyond this rarely visited expo hall? Now, I love the platforms that allow each session, not only each stage, to be sponsored. I love the platforms that allow commercial partners to present their own content and create their own unique spaces. And I'm a big fan of the platforms that give me the data that allows me to furnish my commercial partners with really, really great leads. There is absolute gold in the data we collect. And if you have a demanding sponsor, then make sure your platform provides that data. It's undeniable that in a world of virtual events, the platform you choose matters. So make the right choice for your event. Mm -hmm.